Welcome back YouTube, Splint and Wigs here with another video. Today it is yet again another Cyberpunk 2077 video. This time though, if you're playing on one of these, I'm going to give you every single thing you can do to possibly make Cyberpunk 2077 run better on your old school or any PlayStation 4. Um, I came across some new things and some stuff I've covered on the channel already, but I'm going to kind of put it all into one video here to kind of give you the best experience possible on one of these old school systems. Uh, it's gonna be everything that I might have covered that's for free, and then we're gonna get into something later that actually does cost a little bit of money, but will drastically improve a lot about your PlayStation for sure, not just with Cyberpunk 2077. So please be sure to stick around and, uh, you know, and listen to everything that I go over here. But right out of the gate, we're gonna cover kind of what I did in the other video right here on the screen now. These are kind of the, the main things you can change in the actual game settings to help what you can with this. This goes for Xbox or PlayStation, but you're gonna disable motion blur, film grain, chromatic aberration, and the, turn all those off and it'll help a lot. Uh, and then also uh, some people reported that turning HDR on or off has helped depending on, I guess, what system they're on. So tinker with turning HDR on or off and you might uh, see an improvement there as well. And then as I said in the other video, you know, your TV itself or the settings on your TV can be drastically changed to help improve your situation too. You know, with uh, brightness, uh, especially with uh, your uh, black levels, because of whenever it's nighttime, that's when most people have their biggest issues is uh, whenever you're in uh, Night City and it's night, it's, it, it's really tough on the system. But outside of that, that's kind of your only options when it comes to just doing settings. The rest of the stuff I'm going to cover will take a little bit of work on your end, but it will make huge improvements. And, uh, you know, the, the first thing that we're going to talk about is right here. You're going to want to, you're going to want to clean your PlayStation. It, you would be surprised how much this helps. I'm not kidding. Don't just skim over this part. Like on the back of your PlayStation here, there's these two little tabs you take out and then you'll see the screws that are on your screen right now. And all you do is you, you pull these screws out, you flip it upside down, and then you'll um, take off the plastic cowling and then you're gonna see your fans. It's, it's, it's really, really easy. And then you hit it with canned air. But make sure when you're using canned air you don't turn it upside down because it will shoot some actual uh, cold, a little bit of like a liquid f out of it. So you wanna test spray it and then spray your, your fan. Uh, always test spray before you just shoot it straight into electronics um, and then all you do is you put the cowling back on and pop your screws back in and that's it and you've at least cleaned the fan and it will help tremendously uh, and then I do have a video on the screen that I'll, I mean on the channel that I'll link at the end of the video and in the, the description of a hack if you will where I use a um, waterproof ice pack and I put it underneath the PlayStation I put it underneath the PlayStation, like under here, and then I set the PlayStation on top and the ice pack keeps that plastic super cold, which is right underneath all the components. And then I have a small fan that I put on and I blast it right at the PlayStation and it keeps this thing so cool. Cleaning the fan, the ice pack, and then an external fan blowing on it will help you way more than you think. I'm, I used to never think it would help and it sure absolutely does. Okay, now. The last thing I'm going to cover here does cost money, but if it's something you've never heard of or if it's something that you've heard of but didn't really want to do, because uh, it's really easy now, it doesn't help as much if you get an external one like this, but you can get an external SSD memory for, you know, around, around 40, 50 bucks. The, the best upgrade though is going to be an internal SSD, a good one. Get like a Samsung internal SSD memory uh, and SSD memory is going to not only improve your load times like crazy, but you can see like the picture I have pulled up right in front of you here. Um, and it's not hard, it's not hard. I'll make a video about it if you want. I'll literally pull mine out, show you how to do it, put the screws back in, and show you how to do it if you need me to. Just let me know in the comments. But anyway, if you do get anything out of the video, please like it, it helps out the YouTube algorithm a lot. Uh, and if you want, be sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 400 by January 1st. That'd be so sweet if I could hit that. But as you can see in the picture right in front of me, not only does SSD drastically improve your load times, like 
you would not believe it cuts 30, 40, even 50% off of some load times, um, which is actually, it helps a lot. I mean, if you're a dad like me, you don't get much time to game. If you can cut 40% out of load screens, it helps tremendously. But then obviously right here is where the biggest thing's gonna be. You know, this is from a PS Pro one terabyte versus an SSD internal. So if you're taking an old school original PS4 like like me and some of you guys might be using and you slap this SSD in here on big open world games especially like Cyberpunk you're gonna see an actual graphical difference because it loads so much faster like right here when you're riding through you can see how this hasn't formed yet and like the road and certain things haven't actually been able to load yet and then you look at the one with the SSD and how much cleaner and crispier everything is Especially like you look at this wall, like it'll load all that stuff so much quicker. I'm telling you, for 50 bucks, or if you want to bump up to like the $90 internal and do the little bit of extra legwork, you are absolutely going to see a big difference, especially with new games that are big and hard to run. And especially with the new update, they just did the 1.02 update for Cyberpunk. You do that update, throw an SD SSD in there, I'm telling you guys, you're going to see a huge difference. Hope you got something out of the video. If you did, watch one of the other ones on your screen right now. Splitting wigs out. I'll catch you on the next one.